Hey everybody, it's Bolt here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Clone Wars very, very, very early alpha update here. It just dropped at midnight. We got some really cool st stuff to show you guys. Um, now if you go over and look at Serensic stuffs, you'll see uh, some more dev stuff. But if you go in the workshop right now, link will be in the description down below, of course. Uh, this is what you'll have access to right now. So we got our uh, B1 right here. His little blonde tipped dude, pretty chill. Um, he actually, let's go over here, MCC. Let's go into Arsenal. There's a couple of different variants here of him. So uh, I was actually really excited about that. Um, we have you know the red version here, kind of medical. Uh, blue headless, I don't know what's being planned there for that. Um, that's interesting. Uh, we have a base one and then the base one without the head there. Uh, it just doesn't say that in the class, except for if you hover over it, it'll say that. So. Um, we'll go back over here to our yellow dude right here. Uh, in terms of weaponry, we'll get you know more into this. We have the E5 carbine. Uh, these will of course be using your little uh, charge magazines. Now, if you go into first person, uh, having a little invisible thing going on, you can't you know. Like I said, this is very early. I don't think I can stress that enough. So, of course, we have the uh, yeah, just the two firing modes there. The fully automatic and, and just the one tap there no uh no burst just a semi-automatic so pretty good there um i'm gonna test this out later in terms of uh damage and whatnot of course if we go back to arsenal we will take a look at it here you know comparing the impact there compared to other weapons as you can see the dc-15c Packs a bit more of a punch, it looks like, compared to these carbines. And this, of course, would just be uh, really weak here. So this is the uh, clone carbine. Looks like you can't actually see that. I don't know if it's because I'm using the droid. I'll actually check this out with um, this dude now. So it's, yeah, OK. So yeah, it works. It works perfectly with him. With the droid, it doesn't. It just, you know, it's a work in progress, guys. So we'll do the reload animation for this. Uh, this one's nothing too crazy. Do some damage there on that. Uh, let's go back to this gun, the E5 carbine, so I can show that off right there. That looks really good. I like that. There's not really a way to tell, kind of, you know, no iron sights. So probably better just to hold it off this way and fire it. So, of course, it is a carbine, so... Not gonna be expecting much. Uh, actually, I don't reload it. There we go. So I think it has the same uh, animation for the carbines. Uh, DC 15C. There's this one right here, and that one. This one packs a punch. Hollow sight. Uh, you know, iron sights feel feel nice. So I think that the other one has a hollow sight. Yeah. So of course the uh, same firing modes. I go to reload him. Got the same animation. Now, I don't know. I'm doing this with you guys at the same time. DC-15A, here's the big one. I'm gonna reload it. There we go, guy. That's what we're talking. That, that's pretty good. That's good. There we go. And it's got the, the burst fire mode, which is nice. Uh, it actually doesn't have the fully automatic, so. It's pretty, it's pretty good, it's pretty nice. So uh, yeah, in terms of uniforms, you only have the droid uniforms. Um, so to be able to kill the clankers, you know, maybe people will start playing as droids for a little bit because of that, you know. But I just can't get over this animation, guys. That's that's really nice. They got something really going there with that one in particular. Uh, go back to Arsenal. If you go looking around here, you also will find a uh, the TCW helmet flashlight attachment is right by me so if i hit l i guess or f i don't know i think it was l yeah or n i go near here so i don't know it's not showing up who knows but um go back here i'm actually gonna go back into the zeus interface here um and check some modules see if they added anything uh from what i can tell i didn't see anything New, of course, is the Achilles, what I have loaded on also. So, I'd imagine not. Um, still pretty early for adding all that stuff in there. Yeah, so. 
Just go through the last little ones there for the modules. Yeah, there we go. So, but if we go back, I don't even know where I was, all the way over there. Um, for the Grand Army of the Republic, so we're going to find everything for the cars. We got the Bark Speeder here. Put that dude right there. Uh, so there's that. We'll take a look at them. We got the tanks. Of course, you can see the TX 130s, the Saber Boys right here, and the UT 80, which this thing is um, cool. It's great. It's great. I've uh, been waiting for this for a while because I saw an early preview of it a while back when it was like a Jaguar, they were calling it. Of course, they have the heavy repeaters here. We got all the AATs we'll get into. Um, I think that should do it there for all of those. We also have uh, these little like barrels here, which are ex I'm gonna explode those. I'm actually going to step back and fire at it. Hopefully not get killed. Actually, I'll use the, uh, the heavy repeater here test this out that's pretty nice I like that and then this is I guess a shielded uh, yeah armored shielded variant of it So pretty much the same thing there just take your pick if you want to have the shield on it or not uh, if we also go up close onto it Yep, we got some markings here. Got numbers on them. Got the droids, the galactic uh, public symbol there. It looks really nice, guys. Got some Orbesh on there. I don't even know what it says. Somebody could probably translate it, though. Got a little whirl. <laughs> and just same thing here, just with the uh, the shield. So let's take it over to the TX-130s. Uh, you can hop in as a commander. Um, so I guess, yeah, is that... Oh. I don't even, yeah, I don't think you can see me in here, can you? I don't know. And then go to the gunner seat on top. I think you'd turn out. Uh, like, I guess it doesn't work at the moment. It's all right. And finally, driver. Kind of hovers around. It's really silent, too. I'll give it that. Unless you have your volume all the way turned up, you really wouldn't see this thing kind of sneaking up on you. Let me go back here. This is commander seat. It's got an LMG on it. I imagine they're going to switch it out, um, you know, for like one of those back there. Oh, all right. <laughs> Careful with that one. So, yeah, that's the TX-130. I really like the uh, on the sides here with the neon green. Um, looks really nice. Let's take a look here at this one, the blue variant. This goes out to the boys, the 501st. We all bleed blue, of course. That's their variant. So. And this one has a blue variant instead of the green. I don't know if it has any markings on it. It might literally just be blue. So, but I'm completely cool with that. Looks pretty cool. Um, Going to our rocket launch. Well, I would do rocket launchers last. Let's just take a look at this UTAT here. Um, I don't even know where to get into this thing, honestly. So, here we go. It's right in back, right here on the side. And then, if we go into first person, look at this, guys. Dude's just chilling, got his gun. Now, this is this is pretty good. Commander seat. That, that that's pretty good lighting them up there go to gunner oh shoot dude. takes a while to reload that Dang. of course when you're in here and you see all, like all these guys you can see each other that's got to be really awesome I'd imagine left cannon this thing's got a ton of cannons on it dude Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this. So let's actually try um, driving this thing. Not passenger seat, commander. Command. I guess the commander is gonna be the one to drive it. Probably not. Uh, is there just a driver? Am I blind? I, I guess I might be blind. Let's hop out and then hop in near the uh, the front, maybe right side. Maybe the right side. Gunner, ride back. Inventory. 
I don't know. So I don't have the um, like a bunch of mods loaded, but I will tell you this: I highly recommend Ace Interaction Menu Enhanced because then you can just switch out any moment to any position inside of a vehicle. So we're just gonna go here. I'm gonna go to Zeus, and um, if it'll let me be Zeus for a second, we're gonna go and we're just gonna pop a dude down. Pop a little NATO dude down real quick. Uh, actually, I'll need to do this. ETAT. -E Look, finicky. He, like, jumps around a good bit, as you can see. And I believe that's the driver. So if I click him, and then... Oh, nope. Am I not? Hmm. Hmm. Sometimes, like I said, guys, sometimes Arma just doesn't work. Units remote control. Alright, well... <laughs> No, no, you got this. You got this. Ah, I got him. All right. So, rifleman, remote control. Are you going to let me remote control you? I don't think it's going to let me. Yeah, it keeps on wanting to load. Can I drive? Can we move this? He moves around, so. This is, wouldn't let me uh, remote control it. You can see the dude in the front, though. So, you see all the guys there, actually. On this side. So. Alright. Let's take it back to these AETs. And I saw a little tidbit of these guys before. Um, so. Kind of excited. I want to see. Um, see what these guys can do at the moment. So. Hop into one of these. If they let me. Please. 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 It's not going to let me. <laughs> yeah, I'll just need to... Oh, oh, wait, wait. I saw it. There we go. Driver. So. It does everything an AET would do, guys. You know, for that. So. Slides around a bit, too. It's pretty nice. Got the cannons. Cannons sound devastating. Sounds better in third-person mode when you're firing at it, though. Um, commander seat, which... Ta-da! I saw this and I was really excited. Nothing's cooler than just popping out as the commander, turning out, saying Roger, Roger a couple times, and then just popping back in like nothing happened. And then you can go back and you actually fire on the sides. Of course they're using the miniguns, it sounds like. Even though they have the lasers? So, I don't know. But, like I said, it's very alpha. I can't stress that enough at all. And uh, finally we have the bark speeders, which don't hover back and forth which is crazy guys i know right so these would definitely be a fun little uh mode of transportation and they drift oh man that's that's good that's hot that's hot right there so finally we'll take a look at the uh rocket launchers here um if you've used any of the like two twelfth weapons of the republic they'll kind of remind you a lot of those at least from like what i've used so far uh, cause like these, this one kind of make you think also, You're like, I'm not doing this here. so I, I don't know why I feel like, uh, this one just feels more refined, uh, which is a great thing. Um, and then finally we have the, uh, throwable one here with the disposable and that's just a one shot, you know, get it out there, pop it out and you're done. So there we go. So that's going to do it here for the Clone Wars. Very alpha look. They are going to be updating it here and there for you guys. Um, hope you guys enjoy this. And uh, tell me your thoughts and whatnot. And we're on a very interesting journey for uh, Star Sim as a whole, guys. So be on the lookout for just everything going on in the community. Um, if you haven't seen what they've been doing with the lightsabers, guys, I... I'm going to link that video down below also. You guys are going to be astonished at that. I think that alone is a game changer. It's, it didn't even look like Arma, which I guess is a good thing. So, of course, they have more stuff. You can watch Forensics uh, VOD. Um, I'll link that down below also. But I'll mostly link the Jedi thing. Um, and then you guys can see the, the VOD with the little like PowerPoint presentation on everything. And, uh, of course, the workshop link down below also. Other than that, everybody... 
that's enough. It's really late for me. Um, gonna be heading off to bed. Other than that, take it safe. Enjoy your night. Peace out.